You've got hold of one of Victory's new V4 Kraken guitar amps. First of all, let me congratulate you on your fine choice. This little amp is an absolute beast in terms of power, in terms of tone and flexibility. It has a 180 watt power amp, which is more than loud enough for any stage that I've been on, and I've been on some pretty big stages. It also has embedded two notes torpedo technology, which enables you to record silently in your studio or go direct to front of house for some absolutely fantastic tones when you're gigging, but maybe you're a little bit overwhelmed about all of the options that are available to you and you're not sure about how to hook it up and get the best out of this tiny tonal powerhouse. Well, I'm here to help. My name is Nick Jennison. Let's talk about how you hook up your V4 Kraken guitar amp. <laughs> So let's start with the simplest configuration, which is running your V4 Kraken guitar amp into a speaker cabinet. Now for this, you're gonna run it just like a traditional guitar head. You're gonna power the amp up, you're gonna plug your guitar into the input, and then plug the speaker output of the V4 Kraken into your cab of choice. Now depending upon the impedance of your cab, this is gonna affect the power output of your V4 Kraken, but even with a 16 ohm load, which is gonna reduce the power to 45 watts, this is still unbelievably loud. And thanks to the new valve response circuit that Victory have incorporated into their V4 Kraken amps, it sounds absolutely killer and valve-like, as I'm sure you can hear in this playing example. <laughs> Now, one of the benefits of the hybrid design in the V4 Kraken guitar amp is that you don't actually need to have a speaker connected at all. And in fact, you can connect it using the inbuilt XLR output and get some killer tones thanks to the embedded two notes torpedo cab sim technology. To this end, you can plug your guitar into the input of the V4 Kraken and you can plug the XLR direct to your front of house, direct to an FRFR speaker, or you can go direct into your recording interface and get some killer sounding tones without the noise of a loud cab on stage. Now because the V4 Kraken is a guitar amp in the truest sense, you can use it the same way you would with a traditional style of guitar amp when it comes to hooking up pedals. That is to say that if you have drive pedals, you can run those directly into the front of the V4 Kraken, like this Tube Screamer. <laughs> Or like this Dan Electro Eisenhower fuzz. Or if you prefer, you can use effects in the effects loop like this Eventide H9. And of course, you could use any combination of pedals in front of the amp and also in its effects loop. And because the V4 Kraken guitar amp has a nine volt, 500 milliamp pedal power supply, you could use these pedals powered directly from the V4 Kraken without the need for an external PSU, which keeps the size, weight, and expense of your portable rig way, way down. Now, another thing you might do is you might take something like a Line 6 HX effects, like the one we have here, and hook it up with your V4 Kraken using the four cable method. And if you're doing this, you can also use an external switcher to switch channels and the reverb on and off on your V4 Kraken guitar amp. So one of the most common questions from new Kraken owners is, where's the clean sound? Well, let's start by taking a more traditional approach by taking channel number one, which is the British sounding gain channel. We're gonna roll the volume on our guitar down and you'll be surprised at how convincing this clean sound is. <laughs> Thank you. 
but if you find yourself desiring after a dedicated clean channel, you can use something like the V4 copper that we have sat over here, which is one of Victory's V4 pedal preamps to add additional channels to your V4 cracking guitar amp by hooking it up in four cable method. And of course you can still use all of your pedals with the V4 preamp and the V4 amp in four cable method. And as if that wasn't enough, both of these devices together will fit on a pedal train Novo 18 or a Classic Junior, which is the size of pedal train that will go in an overhead compartment on a commercial flight, which is very cool. So the way we hook this up is by plugging our guitar into the input of the V4 pedal preamp we're then gonna come out of the V4 pedal preamp into the input of our V4 cracking guitar amp. We'll then come out of the V4 cracking guitar amp's effects send into the V4 pedal preamp. And then finally out of the V4 pedal preamp into the V4 cracking guitar amp's effects return. And if you wanted to run any pedals in line with this, you would simply go into your pedals first before you plug into the V4 pedal preamp and you would also plug your uh, time-based effects in the effects loop in last in between the output of the V4 pedal preamp and the effects return of the V4 cracking guitar amp. Let's take a listen to the V4 copper hooked up in four cable method with our V4 cracking amp. <laughs> But if you really wanted to go ham, you could use your V4 cracking guitar amp and another V4 amp like this V4 Duchess guitar amp in a loop switcher with the two preamps of these two amps in their own independent loops and then the output of your loop switcher going to the effects returns of both amps for a full stereo rig with all of the channel switching goodness. It's a lot to take in, but man, it sounds killer and it's probably the smallest all valve stereo rig that you're ever gonna find. <laughs> So now that you know how to hook up your V4 cracking guitar amp, let's talk about how you might use it in a live situation. Now, the easiest way to do this is by plugging in like a traditional guitar amp, and then you would go into a speaker cab with a speaker cable, and that is job done. But if you don't want to use a cab or you turn up to a venue and the cab is either broken or sounds terrible or perhaps the other band won't let you use their cab for whatever reason, that is no problem because you can go direct using the onboard two notes torpedo technology via the XLR output, which is going to give you a silent stage and consistent live tone night after night. But of course, another option is to do both where you run the speaker output to a cab on stage, which might be your monitor and might be a way for hearing your own guitar sound and getting that interaction that you get from a guitar plugged into a loud speaker cab. But you're gonna send the XLR output to your front of house engineer, who is then gonna get a really clean sound with no spill. And it's gonna be the same sound night after night. So you're gonna be super, super consistent, which is a blessing, especially if you're a touring artist or you're playing in venues where you don't get to take your own cab, it's going to give you an unprecedented level of consistency. Another application is if you're using in-ear monitors. Now, a way of doing this is by using the XLR output to feed your in-ears and then using the speaker output to power a cabinet on stage that the engineer would then mic and send to the front of house. But what you could also do is you could send the XLR output to the front of house engineer and use either the headphone output on your V4 Kraken or the balanced line out to send to your in-ears. Now for this, you're gonna engage the switch that routes the two notes uh, torpedo signal to the balanced line out. And this will essentially give you two versions of the torpedo sound, one of which you can send at the front of house engineer, one of which you can mix for your own uh, in-ear monitors. And of course, you can also use the headphone out for silent practice, whether that's late at night at home where you don't want to disturb people, or whether you're in your hotel room if you're on tour and you want to get some practice in, or maybe work on some recordings, uh, kind of get your chops together. This headphone output is an absolute blessing for those sort of situations. <laughs> Thank you. 
So that's how you're going to use your V4 Kraken guitar amp live, but what about in the studio? Well, the most obvious choice, aside from running this into a speaker cabinet and micing it up in the traditional fashion, would be to use the two note speaker sims via the XLR output direct to your recording interface, which is as simple as it sounds. You're going to take the XLR out, plug it into one of the inputs in your interface, and you're off to the races. You could also use the balance line out either with the two notes simulations on, or you can actually turn them off as well, which is going to give you an uncab simulated sound, i.e. the direct sound of your V4 Kraken's preamp, which on its own isn't going to sound that great. Let's take a listen to it. Now you might be wondering, well, why would I ever do that? It sounds so much better with the two note sims on. Well, here's the deal. If you wanted to change the speaker simulation that you had after the fact, then recording this way is gonna enable you to do that. So you can recab essentially later on down the line if you decide you want to blend cabinets so you just want a different sound when it comes to mixing time. And if you wanted to give yourself the option of doing that, you could also monitor through the XLR simulated output so you could listen to the two note sims while you're recording, but actually record the unsimulated sound, or you can record them both at the same time to give yourself options further on down the line. wondering how to get the best out of the cab sims in your Victory V4 Kraken guitar amp. And for most players, just scrolling through the six presets that have been designed by Rabia Massad, which all sound absolutely fantastic, that's going to be enough for most of you guys. But if you do want to take it a step further, you can hook this amp up via USB and connect it to Torpedo Remote, which is the remote control software from Two Notes that allows you to edit the cabs and also access the bundled Two Notes cabs that you get included when you buy your V4 Kraken guitar amp. Let's take a look at Torpedo Remote now. So what we're looking at here is Torpedo Remote, which is the deep editing software that allows you to get in and really refine your cab sim presets. There's a lot of features in here that I'll talk you through in just a moment, but first of all, let's just take a look at the presets that have been included. You can see that the rotary control on the front of our V4 Kraken scrolls through our various presets and the sim level control actually controls this output level down there as well, which is very cool. So this guy right here, we can turn that up and down with our sim level on the front of the V4 Kraken, which is very cool. Let's just take a listen to the six presets. We're gonna have a little chug through, see how they sound, starting with one. Now, of course, you do get access to all of the cabs that are included in these presets, but you also get a bunch of other cabs bundled in as part of your two notes license, which is really cool. So if we wanted to play with some of our other cabs, let's maybe say that we liked the sound of G1 Girth, but we wanted to change it to a different cabinet type. We can do that up here by going to our cabinet selection, which is over here. Uh, we can choose rather than a four by 12, let's maybe try a two by 12. So here let's try a two by 12 V Boutique, which is this vertical cab and Boutique switches our microphones out for condensers uh, and ribbon mics as opposed to the dynamic mics that you'll find in the uh, classic versions of the cabs. Let's just flick through a couple of cab types with the same setup, the same preset, and let's see what we get. <laughs>
Now on top of this, we also get access to a bunch of other features that include a noise gate, which is very, very cool. That's good to see. A power amp simulation, if you want a little bit more saturation and sag on your simulated sounds. Now this is not gonna affect the sound coming out of the cab, but I will say that Victory's VRC uh, a valve response circuit uh, is doing a great job of emulating that valve power amp anyway. So I don't feel too much of a need to switch this on, but if you did want to engage it for a bit more power amp sag, it is there for you. Let's just see what it does. We also have a bunch of different microphone types, including, but not limited to, uh, Ribbon 121 microphones, we've got a 160, we have a, a Sennheiser 421, we have two versions of an SM57, including uh, one straight on and one on an angle, which is very nice to see. We have an Origin condenser as well, uh, and of course you can blend two microphones, you can move them around either with these controls here, or you can just grab them, just pick them up on the interface here, and move them around like you're seeing right now, which is really, really useful. So let's go to a different preset. Let's go back to number one, which is one of my favorites. And we're gonna explore these features over here. So we have a reverb control, which is independent from the front panel reverb. Now this is gonna come out of the cabinet and it's also gonna come out of the speaker sim. But if you want a reverb just to come out of the speaker sims, you can use the reverbs that are in here. And there's a whole bunch of them to pick from. So if we switch it on, we're currently on a studio reverb, which is gonna add a little bit of just kind of room ambience to our sound. Let's compare it off and on. Here's off. Now this is gonna be really useful if you only use the two note software in here to run your in-ear monitors, because it's gonna allow you to get a nice ambient sound that sounds a little bit more like sitting, uh, I guess sitting further away from your cabinet as opposed to having your ear right up against it. So that's pretty useful. We have other reverbs that we can pick from. There's a whole bunch of them, but let's switch to Hall A, which is a nice club sounding reverb. It's gonna sound something like this. <laughs> maybe a little much, so we'll turn that back. It's really, really nice. So if we turn that off, we can take a look at the enhancer. Enhancer is gonna allow us to enhance certain frequencies in the guitar's frequency range. So let's maybe play with body thickness and brilliance and see what we get. We'll just turn them up and down as we go. And the last thing we have access to is an EQ, which is gonna enable us to sculpt our sound a little bit further. There are settings for guitar, for bass, and also a custom EQ, which allows you to get a little bit deeper and determine the frequency center points yourself. Let's just stick with the guitar for the time being, and let's maybe have a play around and see what we can conjure. <laughs>
So endless flexibility there, but it's not limited to the cabs that are included in your license with your V4 Kraken amp. You can also purchase new cabs from the Two Note store, and there are so many of those available, but you can also open up and load your favorite IRs. So for example, I have a Celestian IR that I tend to use quite a lot. I've loaded that into slot number one on my V4 Kraken on the IR manager. Let's go to IR loader and let's take a listen to that impulse response. So I'm gonna turn all of these other effects off. So this is one of my favorite IRs that I use all the time. It's an angle four by 12 with a vintage 30 mic'd with a 121 and a 57. Sounds like this. <laughs> As if that wasn't enough, you can also access all of the other features in Torpedo Remote, such as the uh, reverb and the EQ to further enhance your impulse responses. So it's not just the cold IR as it comes from the factory. You can do all sorts of stuff with it. You can even blend two IRs to get kind of a really detailed and really custom level of, uh, of control over your, your IR sound to front of house. So you might get something like this. <laughs> And of course, you can save that IR or any cab preset that you make on Torpedo Remote to any one of the six slots on the rotary switch on the front of your V4 Kraken. So you can take this stuff wherever you go. <laughs> But of course, all of this flexibility is worthless if it doesn't sound great. So let's compare the V4 Kraken to my favorite amp, which is the Victory Super Kraken. You've seen it hanging out here all the way through this video. I bet you'd be desperate to hear what they sound like in comparison to each other. Does the V4 Kraken amp sound like a Super Kraken? You be the judge. <laughs> So there you go guys, this has been a look at how you hook up your V4 Kraken guitar amp in pretty much every conceivable situation. It's an immensely flexible little bit of kit that is gonna do you proud, whether you're a live player, whether you're a studio player, any combination of those, or whether you're just a guitar player that loves playing at home for the enjoyment of it, you can't go far wrong with one of these flexible, powerful little amps. My name's Nick Jennison on behalf of Victory Amps. I'll see you guys next time.